All right, so something that I struggled with when I got on my health and fitness journey three years ago, rock bottom, no energy, bloating, gas, tummy aches, chronic fatigue, crappy sleep, go to the grocery store and eat healthy foods, but what does that mean? So I saw a video that forever changed my life. I hope that me creating this video from my grocery shopping haul that I'm gonna share with you right now will change your life and inspire you, all right? Here we go. So I just got back from Kroger and I have a week worth of food and I'm gonna let you know what it is that I buy. So first and foremost, I have my eggs, okay? Just regular, medium eggs. They are organic, but some eggs, okay? I like to buy baby arugula, all right? So just like some some uh, shredded arugula because what happens when I show you the rest of what I have, my husband will chop everything finally, put it in a huge bowl, and we just pick out of it using measuring cups each day and it's sealed so it lasts. I have frozen cocktail shrimp from Kroger. They're frozen, I don't use the cocktail sauce. They de in about 12 hours. You can have like 16 of them for low calorie and a ton of protein. So always buying that. Um, a couple pieces of salmon to throw on the grill, an amazing source of protein. Ground turkey, always amazing to make. Tacos, stir fry, it's the ground turkey. Also some lean pork chops, throw it on the grill. I am the type of girl, I will spend one hour, throw chicken on the grill, throw the salmon on the grill, throw the pork chops on the grill, saute this up at the same time and throw it all into a bin, girlfriend, and then next week do the same thing. I used to think that I couldn't meal prep because I didn't have time. I spent more time trying to figure out what I was going to eat and waiting in lines and trying to throw together meals instead of just throwing open the oven if you don't have a grill or using a grill, putting it all on there. I have chicken as well I'm gonna show you and going on with your day. Grab it and go. It's good, it's gonna make you feel good. It's gonna help with bloating and gas and indigestion and chronic fatigue. So that's our reason why, right? And we're gonna remind that to ourselves because the other foods make us feel horrible and we wanna feel better. We're not doing this to discipline ourselves. We're simply doing this because we love ourselves and we want to feel better and we want to love ourselves more. Next I have, which is a great source for smoothies, frozen cherries and kale. Um, I use it in the freezer. I can add it to my smoothies. I can add it to my oats. Um, when I do get almond um, yogurt, I did it today. I do add this to it as well. Another great source of protein that's gonna go on the grill with all of this and just throw it all in a big bucket. The Italian sausage, chicken, filled with protein. Again, in that salad mix, cauliflower, zucchini. I can cut them and put turkey in them. You know, turkey boats, zucchini turkey boats. I got my um, smooth almond butter. Look at the back of the ingredients. It's almonds and palm fruit oil only. No agave, no sugar, no fructose, fructose, whatever the heck all that crap is, none of that. Same with my peanut butter, my peanuts and sea salt only. Before, mine used to have like 19 ingredients, including um, fillers and stuff like that. Next for salads, I like to add, or I make chicken salad, um, and instead of mayo, I'll use um, uh, guacamole now, like avocado. But I like to cut up pickles, and I like to cut up yellow peppers, and put that in my salads and inside of my tuna salad or my chicken salad. Um, I got my guac avocados right here, so always buying those. Um, I got garbanzo beans. I have easy on the go, wild caught tuna right here. Really good. Mix it up with some mustard or guacamole and onions and celery. Um, make it delicious, you know what I mean? And then I will take romaine head of lettuce, which I bought as well, make it into like a piece of bread and eat that and it tastes better than you know what. I also have ground chicken or chicken in a can, the organic. If you look at the label, some of them have a bunch of crap. This has chicken, sea salt, water. So easy, on the go. I'm not really one, you know what I mean, to, I need quick stuff as well. Um, good sources of protein, my lunch meat, um, organic turkey, organic ham, and then Canadian bacon. Again, one ingredient in each one, no fillers and sugar and all that crap. Because today when I was trying to buy beets, like the first ingredient was sugar. Like. No, I don't wanna eat sugar. I wanna eat a whole yummy beet, so I'm not gonna get them. Um, like I said, I have garbanzo beans right here. Always great to add in, throw into a salad. Um, 
Amy soups are my favorite. You know, there's like four ingredients in these, uh, vegetables and filtered water, tomatoes, carrots, green beans, onions, pepper, celery, sea salt. So good for on the go, throw it in there. I can throw in some quinoa into it or add mushrooms, whatever I want. Um, wild cut salmon in a can, always really good for topping onto salads or adding it in with guacamole, peppers, onions, um, like I said, celery pickles and those yellow peppers. So I have that. I have my cashew milk right here. I usually use water for my smoothies, but for Bella and Jeff, and sometimes I'm feeling like I need it or if I want it. Next, we are going to move over here. I have easy on the go, turkey bacon. Again, just turkey, more Canadian bacon, mushrooms in a can, just in case my bat, my other ones that go in my salad go bad. Um, easy cut green beans already. Nothing in the back of them except for Italian green beans, water, and salt. Um, have that. Peppers, because we cut this up with our salad. We add peppers, romaine, lettuce, cauliflower, um, the ba baby arugula, we add celery, we add onions, and then we add radishes. I didn't get radishes today, but that's in that big bowl that you'll always see when you follow me. Apples. Um, I got the head of cabbage. My husband loves cabbage. We put that in our salad as well, along with romaine lettuce, and then this is our bread. So instead of using bread, we make a sandwich. We want to put chicken in it, chicken salad. We use a big piece of this, and we eat it like it is... Um, lettuce wraps. It's really good. You'll love it. And when you eat it and you feel so good and you can feel it digesting, you don't miss the fries and the freaking diet sugar-free this and packaged crap. You're going to feel so good. And you just have to change what you're telling yourself right now. Like if you're telling yourself like, no, and I don't have time, like I can say that too, but I change the way that I talk to myself. And I look at the payoff. Like no, the payoff of bloating, the payoff of more energy, the payoff of sleeping better is way better than any of this. And this doesn't take a lot of time. As you see, I got a lot of things that are instant. So I have chicken in a bag right here, frozen, and then the Purdue. Um, so I can put these on the grill. I have this ready. Again, I don't just cook per meal. I do 10 on there, throw them in there between Jeff and I. 10 will be gone in one week. My pork chops. Um, I have also a bag of chicken just in case again on the go. And then I have my almonds, sea salt almonds, nothing to them. I put them on salads. I put them a handful. I have my berries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. Yummy. And then I have my organic romaine lettuce and some broccoli to put in my salad as well. And here, and I have baby carrots and... That is a grocery haul. And then now I kind of just throw things together and make meals. And honestly, it's easier to just have a routine. I'm used to it by now. I love it. I love the way it makes me feel. And because of the simple nutrition plan that I follow, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, I know how much of each that I get. And when I say that, I don't mean portion control like you have to eat small portions. I mean portion control like you're going to get the right amount of protein to get lean muscles and a tight tush and you're going to get the right amount of carbs to have good energy and to not have to nap or have chronic fatigue and you're going to get the right amount of fats which is going to make your metabolism go higher and it's going to help help you have proper bowel movements that's what portion control is i thought portion control was restricting calories counting calories and starving yourself but portion control is getting the right amount of protein, fats, and carbs. And with the simple system that I follow, I have an app that I can use containers slash measuring cups. They're color coded for me. So I know which foods are my fats, which foods are my proteins, which foods are my carbs. It's what taught me all of this. And I have hundreds of people that I have helped get started with that system. So if you are listening to this and you are on the struggle bus, Please don't ever hesitate to reach out to me. My gut program is going on for the next 60 freaking days. I am currently doing it myself. I have leaned in. I have given up my artificial powder crap that I put in my drinks. No vino for me. Um, I'm going to feel amazing. And again, your gut has so much to do with your overall health. So if you're struggling, I want you to know that I want you to come and join me. So my question for you is, did this help? Secondly, will you join me? Let's do it together. 
Let's have fun. Let's work on being healthier, happier, and remind ourselves that this is not discipline. This is choosing to love yourself.